the 6th Annual Caribbean Life Impact Awards at Paradise Catering Hall in Brooklyn. I'm so grateful to be acknowledged as a Caribbean American making strides within our community right here in New York City. Raven and Sugar Beer with Derek Barnett and the Statement Band. I really feel great by the way all the people received the, the new music. And the energy was just, just up there. You know, I couldn't ask for nothing more than the vibes tonight. Jerk Salman with a tropical manga salsa with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's Inna the Kitchen. We pay tribute to the late great playwright Paul Beale. Behind the scenes sometimes is, is even more, more entertaining than what you're actually watching. You know what I mean? You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Caribbean Life's Annual Impact Awards recognizes the achievements and contributions of outstanding individuals of Caribbean background who have created the most impact in their respective career fields. Chefs Media, thrilled to be the owners of the fabulous Caribbean Life and tonight the Caribbean American Heritage is being heralded by the spectacular people we're recognizing tonight. The entrepreneurship, the leadership that you provide in so many fields of endeavor really has contributed so much to the strength of New York. The men and women you are honoring this evening come from all walks of life business and labor and education and healthcare and nonprofit and ministry, go community activism, go down the long list. Many of us do well in our lives, in our profession, and by giving back, and you never hear peep about it. You just go about your day doing what you need to do with the support of your loved ones, your spouses, your family members, and only you know how hard you have to work to get here. I remember being a young lady uh, growing up in Brooklyn and knowing how the arts has inspired and motivated and encouraged me and I want to be able to pass that information on to the younger generation. I started Google about four years ago. Google wanted to create an initiative that would cultivate more black and Latino computer scientists. Um, I'm a software engineer, I have that background and so they brought me on board initially as a community manager to do that outreach and now I'm leading the program and the initiative all together. I learned from my parents that giving back is something that's part of our household and um, I like to keep going with what I've learned prior to becoming an adult so um, it's not so hard but um, I appreciate this work I love what I do you have been doing phenomenal work the African barrier ground the City Hall very impressive what went into putting this together well that was a competition that we were able to thank God be able to be selected for and then once we got the competition selection, we were able to put together a team to construct the first monument, national monument, that is dedicated to African people that uh, were enslaved here in the United States. And it's currently standing, it's on its 11th year since it's been inaugurated in Lower Manhattan. And um, it's still going strong. When I came to America, it was just an extension of the things that the elders taught me that I brought to America and I continue to share that wherever I live. I love the award, I appreciate the award, but I will continue to do my work like I've been doing, which is sharing the knowledge, the information to um, our community. I'm so grateful to be acknowledged as a Caribbean American making strides within our community right here in New York City. It's imperative to not only try to work towards a platform, but also to give back 
to our community, especially our children, because they're our next generation. We go to different uh, countries and we offer our services as far as we do open heart surgeries. And we perform these surgeries on adults and pediatric patients at no cost to the patients. Sexual Assault and Family Education, which is Safe Guyana, really kind of focuses on helping individuals uh, uh, struggling, victims of domestic violence, uh, individuals struggling with uh, suicide and uh, mental health, as well as working with individuals who are dealing with sexual assault. The charity that I am involved with called Children of Jamaica Outreach, we provide scholarships for children who are less fortunate in Jamaica. So giving uh, those who are underserved and an opportunity to obtain an education, it is a pleasure and a privilege. Caribbean Life newspaper is the largest Caribbean American newspaper in the country. We're actually the largest Caribbean newspaper outside of the Caribbean. I'm really excited for more work with Caribbean Life. You all make an impact. That's why we're here today, because you make an impact in our city, in our communities, in our state. Culture, economic success, community strength, all of that helps make New York better. And to me, those are the hallmarks of the Caribbean American community. People need to be acknowledged for what they do. A lot of the small businesses you see are overwhelmingly of immigrant and Caribbean background. Come here, you start a shop, everything from a tailor shop to a fruit stand to a cleaning service to a counter service to a law practice. You know, when you come and you acknowledge these businesses, you're saying you recognize you made it and you're successful. If you can make it in New York, you can make it in anywhere. If you can make it in Brooklyn, you can make it in any universe. Raven and Sugar Beer with Derek Barnett and the Statement Band at Borough Electric in New York City. It was so much energy up there. We couldn't do it without the energy of the Derek Barnett and the Statement Band, you know what I mean? So it was crazy. We just wanted people to know it was just fun time. We had fun. We had a lot of fun. First of all, you have to be enjoying what you're doing. And trust me, to this day, I still love what we do. Whenever the time comes, when I get up, I feel like, oh, I got to do this again. Then I know it's time to leave. Right now, I'm going to see that I come no time soon. Music was there. just cooled off like about five minutes ago after like an hour of trying to cool off after doing that set I mean still I sweat yeah man you know the energy was was crazy the vibes was nice a lot of crowd participation going back and forth and the energy was just just up there you know I couldn't ask for nothing more than the vibes tonight you know what I mean it was just excellent 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 I really feel great for the way all the people received the, the new music and also I was there singing along to Raven, singing all them hits. I was like singing along, you know? And um, you know, the, the new tunes that were presented tonight, trust me, big up to all the fans who are here, all the people who are here. No love and respect. <laughs> This music business is very unpredictable. You don't know what's really gonna happen. All you gotta do is do 150% when you go into that studio. And that's what we do. Production, lyrical, thing and, and melody, we just give it 100% and let the fans decide where it's gonna go, what's gonna happen with it. We don't know because it's so. It's a lot of music out there. There's a lot of artists doing it. Some good, some not so good, but a lot of people is doing it the same way. It's a movement we're doing and we're coming through, you know, producing, writing songs, 
performing songs, you know, and I tell you tonight, wow, it was, it was very, it was very great tonight. Tonight's my first night meeting Sugar Bear and I didn't know that he was such an amazing artist. So I just want to big him up 100% and he's a part of Jam Cam Sound. So shout out to you Sugar Bear, big ups to you. And of course, Revan was number one legendary, of course, and he big up the Troons. And we was able to vibe to and, and have an amazing time too. Come get the beer hug with the type of love song. Anytime you need to get the right type of love. And let me tell you the simple and plain. Me want to give me last name. Me know we're not boring game. We can't make love in the pouring rain. Now I got to think to make her chew like a train. It makes you scream in the pouring rain. Your mama's telling me that you're insane. You're so insane. Love with that sugar cane. Hello everyone, this is Sanaya. I'm here to tell you about my brand new gospel reggae album. The title is called Yes, I Know. With songs like He'll Do It Again, Holy is the Lord, and The Power of God. You can find my songs on iTunes, Spotify, and all digital platforms. Please go out and check it out. It is something you'll never forget. God bless. All right, guys, welcome to another episode on Wish Party Day in the Kitchen. This week, I am going to be making a jerk salmon and I'm going to be serving it with a tropical manga salsa. I'm gonna start marinating my salmon which I put some oil on it rub it up a little bit with some oil regular olive oil is good virgin olive oil is good just kind of marinate it so that way the, the season and the flavor can get to it sprinkle a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper a little bit of Old Bay season over it not too much salt because you have to watch your salt intake as you know already Make sure your salmon is nice and clean, nice and pretty. Have a nice color going for it. I'm using my Walker's with Jerk Season here and this is what I'm gonna use to marinate it. At this point, after I marinate it, the thing about this too, what you can do, you can also put this inside your refrigerator to marinate for a bit. Just kinda let it stay there for probably about 20 minutes. I'm gonna be using a hot skillet which at home, if you don't have a skillet like this, you can just use a saute pan and you're good. I put a little bit of oil with some onion on it so that way I can get some flavor up and some smoke up inside the salmon. That's gonna give it that charred flavor as if you're grilling it outside doing a regular jerk chicken or jerk fish. Now for my cauliflower, I'm just gonna cut it up in real small pieces. I know you've probably never seen um, cauliflower in this color. This is called a tricolor cauliflower. They have the purple just like this, the yellow, and also the green. You're probably used to the traditional white one. But in the restaurant world, there's many different things that we can get to use. So the only thing you're gonna do is put on your water, make it hot, and you're gonna put your cauliflower in there and let your cauliflower cook. When it cooks, um, nice and soft, where you can squeeze it with your hand, you're gonna strain the water off. And after you strain the water off, at this point, you're gonna put it inside of a bowl, put some butter on it. You can use a little bit of evercream if you want, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. And at this point, you're just gonna crush this out. It's almost the same as if you're making mashed potato. But what makes this so different is a different flavor that you're gonna get from the mashed potato. So this is gonna be my sides that I'm gonna use to serve with my salmon and you can't go wrong with this like I always tell you I like things to be different it's not every week you want the same traditional stuff sometimes you want something different I'm gonna add some spinach to it as well just to give it that color contrast where it looks real good and also enhance the flavor of your side now my salmon is done take the salmon out I'm gonna start putting my salsa together as you can see mango pepper um, tomato, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, red onion, white onion. 
and some cilantro and squeeze some lime over it at this point you're just gonna mix it in real good this is your salsa this is something you're gonna and I'll, also don't forget the bourbon I also like to add a little bit of liquor to it a little bit of bourbon ain't gonna it's just gonna help enhance the flavor and make it a little bit different just a little tap of it mix it up this you can let this marinate if you want for a little bit at this point you're gonna get your plate your favorite plate I'm gonna then put my mashed broccoli um, cauliflower my mashed cauliflower into the middle of the plate make him look real good as you can see you know me already presentation is the key so we're just gonna put it right here in the middle make it look real nice and if you want there's something you can do you can serve this with with a baked potato you can serve this with some rice you can just push it over a little bit more and put your rice and you consider that your veg at this point I'm gonna put my salmon right on top make him look real good look 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 just look at that look at the chart and that now the salmon is cooked nice and medium and I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil from the sauce that was inside the salmon skillet and I'm gonna pour it over it that's gonna help to enhance the flavor as well of the salmon so at this point I'm gonna take my salsa and I'm gonna put my salsa right on the top this is trust me guys the refreshing flavor that you're getting from this it's healthy that salsa is just kicking on the top with that nice little lemon zest to it and at the same time you have a nice little bourbon going for it definitely something that you will definitely enjoy this dish so presentation is the key as you know already keep it nice and clean Charlotte is one of my number one server here she's been my ride or die for the longest while so I'm gonna call her to come and enjoy this so until I catch you next week in the kitchen go on and enjoy this we pay tribute to the late great playwright screenwriter producer and director Paul Obiel known for its such as Shibada Del Cita Tanya Bashment Granny and more Paul Beal, the writer, playwright, television producer, and filmmaker, passed away recently, leaving an enduring body of work that showcased the cultural authenticity of everyday life in Jamaica. He was born in 1962 in Manchester, Paris, Jamaica. His extraordinary body of work includes 43 stage plays, nearly 300 TV drama episodes, feature films, over 50 short films, two seasons of radio dramas, 600 poems and 32 books and countless commercials for television. The, the business of writing a script is a very tough one, you know? um, especially when people have expectations. You, you have to make sure that the expectations are met. Um, there are many different persons that I have to cater to. To write a story, you have to live with all these people in their world. You create the world, but you have to live with them there. And you have to live there with them from the beginning to the end. When the play opens and it begins to run, and you know, you really don't wean yourself from the project until it gets into probably the tenth performance. His characters capture the power and rhythm of everyday people with side splitting over the top dial. Now at this house we have developed a particular culture of decency and respect. I am asking that you stick with that culture until you go back to your mother. Now if you cannot do that, you and I will have some serious problems living together. And as I am the one in charge here, it would simply mean that you, not I, will have to go. Am I clear? Yes, miss. Good. Now this is first part alone, me clear can do. One of his most popular plays, Bashment Granny 2, is a potent display of his writing and directing talents. By the time you're ready to direct the play, you would have smoothed out certain things. But when the actors start to perform and when you start to see the, 
the, the, the chemistry unfolding in front of their eyes and the relationships building it gives you more idea as a director as to, to what you can do to improve the story um, it's not just about storytelling it's about telling a story in a very humorous way we are into making sure that diaspora is seen what we're doing here in Jamaica so Tanya is, is, is one of those many things that we have coming through the pipeline you know what I mean? Daddy, my prom is coming up in two months, so I'm informing you from now. Me do a prom sit in your push, baby, now. But you could, now move your body with me talk to you. You could not be talking about, baby, what you're talking about. It is a graduation party for high school students, Daddy. You mean like when Miss Darius' daughter get pregnant? How Mr. Bone daughter run with man? You're not going. A prom is not defined in that way. Me no care how you find it. We like CIN TV, and we like the fact that, you know, CIN TV has a good portion of the diaspora. Stephen Hill, who heads the Caribbean International Network, had this to say. My friend Paul was passionate about everyday Jamaica and used his artistry to celebrate the cultural vibrancy of our institutions and communities. In his short life, he created an exceptional collection of work of lasting importance. All feelings, desire, and interests that Rasta has developed for you over a period of January. Time. I know Junior. Gata. Don't call I Junior. I'm sorry. It's just that there are some fundamental differences between you and I. Differences that can put us on shaky romantic grounds. Pragmatic Productions Limited. We take comedy seriously. That's our tagline, that's our slogan. Behind the scenes sometimes is, is even more, more entertaining than what you're actually watching, you know what I mean? But that's it. Bless Paul Beale, Pragmatic Productions, my team. Thank you very much. Chat with me merchandise available now. Stay connected with Come Chat with Me. Big up to all of the Come Chat with Me viewers. Thanks for watching Come Chat with Me. See you next week.